guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Coach Coco and I love volleyball. So much so my channel's filled with tips, tricks, hacks, and anything you could ever need to know about volleyball. So it came to me that it would be really important for me to give you some terms that you might need to know if you're trying out for volleyball for the first time or you just need a refresher. So this video is gonna be filled with some volleyball terms that may be helpful for you to know so that way you're not confused and when the coach is speaking very quickly or they're using volleyball term language, you have an idea of what's going on. Make sure you like this video and let's get right into it. Scrimmage. A scrimmage is a simulated game in which you play a simulated game as real as possible. This is helpful because it allows you to simulate how the game's gonna go and how to learn how to play the game. It's really helpful when you scrimmage because you know, as you know, when you practice specific skills alone, sometimes it doesn't translate onto the court as well as it could. So that's why we scrimmage. So at tryouts, you most likely are gonna scrimmage so the coach will know how you play in an in-game scenario. Conditioning, the act of participating in a cardiovascular exercise to increase your cardiovascular health and promote physical activity. Conditioning can look like a lot of different things. Sometimes conditioning can involve running, it can involve aerobic exercise like burpees, push-ups, stairs, things like that. Conditioning can also include stretches. Make sure you do your stretches before you're doing your conditioning, but conditioning is a large part of tryouts. The reason why is because as a coach, we want to see your aerobic capacity or how well you can move physically. It's important for volleyball players to not only be able to move physically quick, but also be able to move physically for a long time. Don't worry if your conditioning isn't the greatest yet, but it will get better. Ace. This is when a serve is not able to be passed. For example, a player serves the ball over the net, but the players can't receive it, so it hits the floor. An ace is when sometimes when you will serve the ball over, sometimes somebody will touch it, sometimes somebody won't, but it's when the ball cannot be received, so it literally comes right back. I've gotten several aces in my career, and one looks just like this. As you know, I served it, and nobody received it. Ace. I say I'm fine with a grin while I'm thinking about my pops line. This refers to the angle of hitting. This is when the ball is hit down the opponent's sideline. Example, the coach asked the player to hit the ball line, so the hitter attacked the ball down the line. So hitting line is very effective, especially when you have a player who may not be able to receive that well. So as you can see, I'm hitting line in this video because they were bunched up towards the middle. The same thing with line, angle. This is when the player hits the ball towards the inside of the court at an angle. Example, the hitters were blocking line, so the hitter hit the ball angle. The reason why you would hit angle is because perhaps the team is bunched up somewhere else, but also maybe there is a passer that is not very good at passing, so you hit towards them. In system, the six players on the court when they are playing within their rotation is a system. While players are playing within the court lines, within their positions, they are in system. So in system is kind of difficult to explain. But when you think about the six players that are on the court and they're playing the game, they're bump, set, spike, and they're, everybody's in their position doing their job, that means the ball is in system and flowing really well. Similar to in system is out of system, which is what you'll hear much more often. This is when six players are on the court and they're out of their rotation and the ball may be outside the court lines the players are going to try to get the ball back into system and sometimes this is referred to as out of system so basically you're trying to find that sense of normalcy the players are going to try to get the the ball back into that bump set spike kind of rotation because the ball may be going a little little cuckoo so when we're out of system we're trying to get back into system so let me ask you what your hot day's worth said so let me ask you what your hot day's worth Penetrate. This term can be referred to as a block. When the coach says that you need to penetrate the block, they're asking you to push more into the block and make it more firm. You don't want to have weak fingers when you're blocking because that can lead to injury. So penetrating the block means making your fingers much more firm. As here, an example, a player that I played with, she penetrated the block so that way she could block the hitter when they were attacking the ball. Side out. This happens when the team receiving the ball successfully gets the ball back by scoring. This can also happen if the scoring team makes an error giving the ball to the opposing team. Side out is a term that you hear quite often in volleyball, in cheers, in statements, all of that. So in this example, the teams, they are trying to rally against each other and the team is going to make an error giving the point back to the other team, which is now called a side out because they got the ball back. 
Weak side. When a player is hitting on the side that is their non-dominant hand, this can often be called the weak side. For example, if you're right-handed and you're hitting right side, that's your weak side. If you're left-handed and you're hitting outside, that's your weak side. A player that I was playing with, she's hitting on her weak side right now because she's hitting right side. And lastly, stuff. This is when a blocker is blocking the ball and it lands back on the opponent's floor. Example, she stuffed the ball when she went up to block. Now these are really cool and you might not see these too often depending on what level you are, but it's when a really hard block hits the floor. And this is a stuff, really cool. So I really hope that you like this video with more information on some terms that you might need to know for tryouts. These are not all the terms you need to know, but these are some of the ones that I think off the top of my head that are very important to know, especially if you are new to volleyball. If you have any terms that you think would be helpful for others to know, please, 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 please put them in the comments because we want to share and sharing is caring. Also make sure you like this video, comment, subscribe, share this with somebody who needs it. All right, I'll see you guys next time.